most of the suture patterns that I've been showing you have to deal with closing of an incision. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a purse string suture. For that, you need just an opening, and it's typically done on a surgery like an anal gland removal surgery, where the doctor might ask you to cinch the rectum closed so that the animal doesn't defecate in the actual incision. So go ahead and grasp your needle holders in your right hand and your tissue forceps in your left hand. Grasp your needle three quarters of the way along the body of the needle and hold the needle perpendicular to your needle holders. We're going to go ahead and grasp just a portion of tissue along the edge of the opening that you're suturing. We're going to go ahead and take that bite. Leave just enough of a tail so that you will have something to tie off the other end to. Okay, you may have to re-grasp your needles at different angles depending upon where you are along the circle. For now, I still have it the same way I started. I'm going to move over just a little bit and bring my needle in and out, taking my second bite. Okay, this time I'm going to go ahead and turn my needle around. And that's just because normally, like say you're suturing a rectum, it's going to be upright in front of you. So you won't, again, be able to flip your patient around. I'm going to grasp tissue for my next bite. I'm going to insert, bring my needle back out. And I'm going to try to keep my pattern even all the way around the rectum or opening. Now I have space to do one more bite. So again, I'm going to grasp tissue. I'm going to go in and come back out. Now, before I tie it off, you can see how I went in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. And I've made a little pattern to go all the way around. Now, remember, I did say this is something that you're going to want to cinch the opening closed. So, be ready to pull a little bit snug on your sutures. Line your needle holders up between the tail and the needle portion. Wrap around twice for your suture, or your surgeon's knot. Or surgeon's throw. Go ahead and pull through. Remember to keep your knot or your throw lined up in a straight line. And then we're going to cinch closed. Okay, then we're going to let go, line it back up, do one more throw, wrap around your needle holders, grasp the tail, and pull it back through. That was one knot. Go ahead and do one wrap around. Pull it through. That's your first throw of your next bite or your next knot. Here's your second throw, making that two knots. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Now, if this is a knot that you're going to be removing, you want to make sure you put some sort of note, a piece of tape or something, onto your patient so that you remember to remove your purse string suture. Okay, I'm going to pull those off so that you can see. You can see how it's cinched up the hole. You have your knot and you have your two little tags. You can leave these tags long enough that you can go ahead and grasp them so that you can remove them. But you want to make sure that they're not too long. And this is how you remove it, actually. You want to make sure that the, the tags are not too long that they're actually getting into your incision site either because an anal gland removal surgery, if this is what you're going to be using it for, the anal glands are located in these two locations near the rectum. Okay, and there's your purse string suture.